Virgo. Hey, Bobby. What is going on? Welcome to your daily reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, my loves. Hey, my loves. It's Empress Me, your spiritual guide, and I'm here to shine some light on your situations, let you know what spirit has for you in store and what spirit may want you to know. I said that kind of backwards, but work with me. I'm erasing it. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes, Virgo, and all you do for our channel. Thank you so, so much for your support, your love, and loving me just the way I am. So let's go ahead and dive in. I hope you guys are doing well. You can talk to me in the comments. This is your pre-shuffle. I did meditate over your energy. Of course, I always pray on and off camera. Um, I asked Spirit what would he like for me to talk to you about today What's in Virgo's energy. What does Virgo need to know? So the overall energy that's at the bottom of the deck is chaos and conflict. So this talks about a person that is putting on a facade, maybe pretending to be something that's not. On this card, we have a daggone zebra disguised as a freaking giraffe. Okay, creative, right? I know. But it, <laughs> they getting crafty out here, okay? Nothing surprises me anymore, honestly, in this dating world and meeting people and the way people lie and try to cover up things. Like, I feel like I've seen and heard it all. I really do. But anyway, so we got a Decepticon here, an imposter, okay? Somebody is, I feel like they could be disguising the truth, hiding the truth, but there is definitely something that they were hiding that caused a lot of chaos and conflict. Somebody also may be hiding the conflict that they're going through in their lives, trying to dress themselves up to seem like something very nice. And, you know, um, giraffes are really calm and peaceful animals. They, like, don't attack people. They tend to just mind their business. Zebras are a little bit more on the wild side, you know. Um, but I feel like either way, they're not being honest about the things that are going on in their life or how they feel, all right? So I feel like they're pretty conflicted and they're trying to hide that from you. So let's go ahead and take a look at these other cards and see what else is here, okay? Next, we have a message in a bottle, all right? So there's some news coming towards you, and you know the message in a bottle is signifying um, news that will take some time, all right? Um, it'll be a little bit before this gets to you. It's not like you're going to get the message tomorrow. Um, for some of you, it depends on how long this person has been planning on sending it to you, and then finally, boom, they do it. But um, somebody is definitely trying to perfect what they want to say and think things through and send you this message. They're, they're contemplating. And some of them are daggone right nervous. I feel like a lot of them are very emotional right now with all this water. And I feel like they're just trying to wait until things calm down a bit. So once things calm down a little bit with their selves or their situation or in their lives or in their heart space, they're going to send you this message. But it's definitely something that you need to know about some type of chaos and conflict that either they caused, they were in, but it's some type of drama that went down. And you definitely know. You have a feeling, but you don't have all the facts. So these are the facts that's going to be coming to you. And we'll tap in and try to see if we can find out what this is, okay? We have why. So somebody's going to be sending you a message explaining why something happened. Maybe why you haven't heard from them. Because it seems like it's been a while since you've heard from them. Um, why something happened. Why they've been distant. Why you haven't heard from them. Um... Some of them left, why they left or whatever, why this chaos and conflict went down or why they're hiding things from you. What is the problem? Like, what is going on here? I feel like you want to know why. It's like, who, what, when, where, why? Like, what's up? And I feel like they're about to tell you, okay? Next, we have peace. They just need some peace in their life. I feel like somebody here may be on a new beginning. This is an egg that has yet to hatch, all right? And I feel like this is some type of peace offer. And this person wants to explain things to you so they can have peace of mind, peace in their spirit. Um, I feel like they also want to bring you peace with this five at the top of the card, kind of representing some type of conflict or mental conflict or keeping you on your toes, wondering, guessing. So they want to kill the guessing game and let you know what's going on. Okay. Um, so for some of you, I feel like you may have been waiting to hear from this person. Okay, but um, for a lot of you, I feel like you, you, some of you know how this person is. So you know that they struggle with like identity or whatever this is. Like they're, they struggle being honest about their real feelings, how they're doing and what they're doing. 
somebody needs some help here. Maybe they need your your encouragement. Maybe they need your um I feel like they want your approval, but also I feel like somebody wants your guidance, your advice on something that they're going through. So somebody really needs your advice, and I feel like they're going to decide to come out and tell you what's going on. And we got higher power here, so I feel like they're um, trying to reach out to a higher power. Also, they know that you're connected to the divine, and you're very spiritual and balanced for a lot of you. They know that you give good advice. Whether or not you're always happy-go-lucky or feeling at 100%, you still will humble yourself and put your issues aside and help someone. So they do know that, and they do see you as very blessed see this blessed is here so you are very blessed and they know it this person recognizes you as blessed and they also rep um, recognize you as extremely wise deep knowing they know that you know about a lot of different things they also know that you're very intuitive and, and, and empathic so they know that you can feel when something is coming you know when things are going on so they know this so this person is taking their time to come to you and let you know what they're going through but they definitely want your advice and they want some spiritual guidance or some type of encouragement here because they know they see you as very blessed. Okay, that's so sweet, Virgo. They definitely see you as very blessed. And this leg up stands for some support, some help. This could be from your child, but I feel like somebody just needs a little bit of help or encouragement getting through a situation here. So somebody definitely looks at you as blessed. They learn from you and they want your advice. You've been wondering how this person is doing or what is going on in this person's life. They're about to expose themselves to you. They're about to let you know, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this last card before we dive in. We're going to get a couple angel messages, say our prayer, and then get into the rest of the reading, the tarot portion, okay? So time to go. Somebody had to maybe walk away from something. Five and four is the nine. Um, I feel like the nine of, um, maybe the nine of swords. Because I see a lot of air here. Um, so maybe the nine of swords. Maybe somebody is trapped in their head. In a mental space. Somebody could be in prison. Somebody is away. Or it's time to go away. It's something. And they feel they feel alone. It's a long journey ahead of them. That they're going to have to take by themselves. I feel like it's a long path ahead. Where they're not going to have anybody with them. For some of them. They're going on this spiritual journey. Trying to heal themselves. Um, but there's something here where it says time to go. So I feel like maybe this person is 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 leaving. Somebody could have even been thinking about suicide. But this person really wants to talk to you. They they feel like you can walk them off the ledge. All right. This is deep. Okay. Somebody feels alone. They're going through all these challenges. They've been hiding things, pretending like everything is okay. And I feel like now their world is crumbling. I feel like their mask is falling off. Whoever this is. Let's see if we can find out who this is. I'm only going to give one card on each of these, okay? Because there's more that I want to tell you about this situation. Or we're going to try to break this down and see what's going on. But um, let's, let's, do, let's do message in a bottle. Let's see how this person is feeling. Who this might be. What could be going on here. I'm going to use these cards. Let's use the traditional tarot. This is the right of way. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and God, show Virgo. Is there anything you can tell Virgo about this message in the bottle? If it's not meant for you to see, Virgo, you know we get blocked too sometimes. Spirit will not show us if it's not meant for you to know. If it's meant for something for you to go through without seeing, it will not be revealed. So let's see. Message in a bottle. What's this message about for Virgo? All right, this is some news from family. Maybe message about somebody coming towards you, coming home, coming home to family. Maybe somebody talking to you about what's going on. I feel like this is a message about somebody coming home, returning home, something like that. All right, I feel like um, this has been some type of news that's been, they've been waiting to share with you. But I feel like somebody has some news or some communication about when they're returning home about happiness ten of cups i feel like you've been waiting for this person or waiting to hear from this person something like that but there's going to be some type of news about them returning home page of swords so this could be a gemini libra aquarius energy 
Um, but there's something to be seen beneath the veil. People could be gossiping. This could be gossip or talking about somebody, but it's about somebody coming home. And the page is sometimes a child. So it could be a child, somebody's child talking about coming home or something about home. Leaving. They could be leaving home. Something like that. Okay, maybe they feel like they have to walk away from a situation, walk away from coming home or something like that. Maybe they it's going to take some more time before they return home. Somebody may want their child to come home. Okay, show me why. So why is this happening here for Virgo? So somebody was reckless. Somebody could have um, not watched what they say. Somebody could have been violent, aggressive, or anything with the wrong person. There could have been some type of argument. This could have been somebody standing their ground, speaking the truth. This could also be somebody doing something without thinking about the consequences. Show me more, please. Yeah. So the Hierophant. Somebody could have went against somebody of clergy. Somebody um, with the church and a tower. So there could have been an argument or something, something here about a relationship. Somebody could have been in a reckless in a relationship. Somebody could have got out of line with somebody of clergy and there was some type of tower moment. All right. Something happened with this person where things just did not work out in their favor. And they're trying to be strong here. But whatever they did, they got into this argument and I feel like... They, it's something about them not being able to come home or them having to come home or coming home sooner than you think. This could be a school organization or anything like that, okay? But this person is, um, and I feel like the Howard fan also is traditional beliefs, all right? This could have something to do with church, school, home, prison, work anywhere anything like that so this is about somebody's stability all right and maybe they had to move they had to leave or something like that or it's a situation where they're going to call you about coming home asking you can they return to you asking can they stay with you or something but somebody needs a place to stay or something like that peace justice yeah somebody feels like it's 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 fair for them to be able to leave this situation Somebody sees you as a peaceful place. Somebody needs peace after a bunch of chaos. Um, and this for and this card is talking about stability. So somebody's stability um, is in jeopardy. Somebody's going to be asking, can they stay with you? Or they need to stay with you. Justice. Show me more. Yeah. To come back together. Somebody could think about um, making somebody their wife. This could be a Taurus. Or this is um, a mother figure. Um, but somebody is thinking about staying with you. All right. With this two of cups, this is um, divine union. Soulmate energy also represents family. It could be a family member. All right. This could also be representing a choice made off of um, emotion. All right. Justice. So a choice made off of emotions made by the mother or something like that. But um. Somebody definitely, it looks like somebody's going to ask, can they live with you? Or can they come home? See? This is good news. Maybe somebody's finding out that they're coming home sooner than you thought. This could be from school or anything. Somebody's child may be coming home from school earlier. Something. Time to go. Show me. It's something where they're not comfortable in a situation. Somebody's leaving. Or they bowed out of a situation for a recognized victory. Okay, it's something here. Somebody sees you as good news, a positive opportunity, all right? And people will be cheering them on. Some type of communication that you're going to receive finally. You're going to be happy about this, but finally this person is going to reach out. I feel like somebody definitely could be in prison or all in their head about this situation. Somebody could have also got hurt or been in a fight, but they're trying to protect. It's like this person has time in or something that they're protecting. Maybe somebody has one more month to do, one more year to do, one more semester. It's something here about somebody being in a situation and they're going to be coming home. 
Yeah, somebody is standing their ground, fighting off the competition, fighting off people that are against them, and they're doing their best to stand their ground to protect this, all right? So if you're worried about somebody or you're wondering about somebody and wondering what this person is doing or what's happening, why you haven't heard from this person, you're about to hear from this person. And somebody is about to be coming home and wanting to live with you. <laughs> I'm a lot to you not, Virgo. Somebody is going to want to live with you. Somebody needs to come and live with you. Show me this chaos and conflict. Juggling. Trying to balance. They're trying to balance their money. Look at this. Let me see. All of this flipped over. So this could be somebody that you ended a relationship with and they're going to come back from the past or something, but it's a missed opportunity for them or they want you to re-examine an offer that they gave you. Somebody is like coming back and they want to live with you. So somebody is going to be coming back. You're going to get news from this person. This is good news or offering you money or a little bit of money. Somebody's trying to juggle here. Show me. Somebody's trying to balance their emotions before they come towards you. Yeah, somebody's trying to balance their emotions so they can be bold enough to come towards you. Somebody could have got mad. It was a lot of chaos and conflict. Y'all could have cussed each other out. Somebody walked away or whatever the case may be. But they still holding on to you. And somebody about to send you a message. They want to come home. <laughs> I don't know why Spirit be doing this to me. Y'all probably like, what? I can feel the energy. Y'all like, what the hell? Like, hell no. <laughs> Virgo, somebody is holding on to you. They want to, they, oh God. Somebody wants to live with you. Somebody is about to ask you, can they live with you? And this could be a dis dysfunctional family member or, <laughs> oh my God, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who turned down a relationship. This could be somebody who, who had a, a financial loss or lost their home. This could also represent a dysfunctional family member that they're about to ask you, can they come live with you? Look, they've been secretly asking you about this for a while, or you feel like you can't trust this person. You got to hold back your money or hide your money because this person is a, a sneaky liar or something like that. <laughs> what the hell, Virgo? Let's get some angel messages. I cannot. Like, <laughs> goodbye, people. Like, what? I'm like, this is crazy. Get off of Virgo's page because this is crazy. What the heck? Either way, they're going to ask you something like that. Somebody's going to ask you, can they live with you? Can they stay with you? Can they come back home? Um, they try to pretend like everything was good without you, but it's not. I told you. Look at that. Okay. So something which is no something which no longer serves you is about to end. All right. So this could be a relationship. Maybe you're the one leaving a relationship. You could be the one asking um, asking somebody if you could stay with them. Then this is honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. So this is good news about money or some type of positive endeavor about an increase. All right. And then we have, <laughs> honey, you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Angel of the universe. I'm trying to tell you, you're going to be like, what? I'm telling you. This is crazy. I'm telling you, this person is going to want to live with you. This is crazy. But this is what I have here. Let me see what else we can find out. <laughs> Virgo, I'm sorry to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can just feel y'all energy. And somebody is just like not even having it. Like y'all are just like, a lot of y'all think it's this ex from the past that's going to try to come back. Some of y'all, it's y'all child, and this person still, they lie. And you just like, I don't give a damn if you my child or not. Like, like I don't want you living in my house. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Spirit is saying, remember about your traditional teachings, because this says balance spirituality and practicality. So you want to be positive in um, WWJD, okay? Do the positive thing, try to do the right thing, but at the same time, be practical about it. Be real about the situation. You know, you don't want somebody that's going to make your situation harder. But um, so we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. We have adjustments are required. So there's going to be some adjustments that are required for you to have the outcome that you want. Especially if you're letting somebody else live with you, adjustments are required. All right. Um, and then it was it's time to release negativity. 
All right, so it's not time to think negative. Try your best to be positive about the situation. I'm just saying, and if you can help somebody and it don't hurt you to help, then help because it is family. Even though this family is a bit dysfunctional, you feel like they're never there when you when you need help. So you so you guard it. You like why what why you no? -uh. I got all this that I've established for myself. I'm trying to protect all my blessings over here, and here y'all come trying to live here. Oh my god. Somebody is not going to believe this, but they definitely going to be asking you to live with them. I mean, asking if they can live with you. Look, emotions are running high. So, you, I feel like you're not going to believe this. <laughs> this is going to shock the hell out of you. You're going to be like, what? So, Virgo, y'all let me know what's going on in the comments. Let me know who this is that you've been having chaos and conflict with, but they've been hiding, their life been falling apart, but now they need help. They need help from you. They see you as blessed and abundant. They need your advice. They said, maybe Virgo can help me. Ciao. All right, y'all. Let me know what this is in the comments. I love you so much. I will see you a little bit later. Okay. Bye, my lovies. Oh, and if you want a personal reading, you know what to do. Book your reading on our website, closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. If you need to use Cash App, you can email me at closer to the closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com. All right, y'all. I love you. Bye.